pretty appalled by just the first two pages on Google News. Just go to Google News. It's 4.30 in the p.m., you know, Colorado Mountain Time, December 13th, 2020, Sunday. All I did was type in Google News, police involved. Not shooting, not killing, just police involved. And let's just read all the different headlines. So, 22-year-old man fatally shot by Lamarck police officer. Police identified the officer as Jose Santos. Has served the department since October 2014. So, extraordinary, fantastic man. Fantastic man that's reported by KPRC Click to Houston. And that was two days ago, CBS New York NYPD gunman fatally shot by police after opening a fire outside New York City Cathedral 16 minutes ago. Watch as at NYPD SHEA updates the media on a police-involved shooting that took place earlier today at the Cathedral Church of St. John. 16 minutes ago, Brooklyn Park police officer suspect shot after exchanging gunfire. That's WCCO, CBS, Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis, WCCO. An investigation is underway after a police officer and a suspect were both shot last night after exchanging fire. 19 hours ago, police involved shooting in Rehoboth Beach. Officer shot Pennsylvania fugitive killed. Wounded Officer 38 is a member of the Milford Police Department assigned to a fugitive task force. Attorney General Kathy has two days ago KPRC, so 22-year-old black man killed by a Lamarck police officer. Community, community demands justice. It's one hour ago. Police officer threatens to belt the fuck out of Aboriginal teenagers in Alice Springs Watch House, ABC News. Two hours ago, police officer has been caught on tape grabbing, shoving, and verbally abusing a teenage boy in the Alice Springs Watch House before two hours ago. Houston Chronicle, police released name of Lamarck officer who fatally shot black man. This is at least the second time Santos has been named in a deadly officer-involved shooting. Oh, two times this guy has... Murdered some shot and killed suspect Gregory Hammond dot, 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 two days ago. That's Houston Chronicle. The San Diego Union Tribune. La Mesa reveals police officer involved in controversial arrest was fired. Amare Johnson spoke at a June news conference after La Mesa police released body camera footage of an encounter he had with then officer. So, the guy's fired man dies after being shot by law enforcement in Farmington, Utah. And just in case you're like, hey, you know, Utah, Montana, I bet you the police are, you know, everybody knows everybody, small town, a bunch of Mormons. Nope. Even in Farmington, Utah, a man has died after being shot by police. And, let's see, the Davis County officer involved critical incident protocol team. That just sounds corrupt on its face. Fuck. Fox13now.com reported that 35 minutes ago. Off-duty Chicago officer involved in fatal shooting at Southwest Side Home. <laughs> Police say a man in his 20s who was shot to death inside a home on the Southwest Side by an off-duty Chicago police officer after their fight has. Damn. Fatal. Fatal shooting. And that was page two. Let's see what that's, you know, Chicago Tribune that was reported three days ago. Albany Park, Chicago Sun-Times, Albany Park shooting off duty police officer. We just read that one. Officer involved in the shooting has been relieved of his police powers by Superintendent David O'Brown as oversight officials continue. That's one day ago. So that's, wow, society has lost a good man today. Police officer shot and killed at a car wash in Gaston County, North Carolina. A Mount Holly police officer was shot at a car wash in Gaston County Friday morning. Has died, Charlotte Police says. The officer was among two, that's two days ago. Sacramento police shoot, kill man at Natamos. Nato Moss Bel Air Supermarket, Sacramento, California. Sacramento police officer killed a person 
with a large knife in a Natomas Belair on Sunday morning, seven hours ago, reported ABC10.com, KXTV, Wayne, 15, it looks like, W-A-N-E, one person dead, officer injured after officer involved shooting in Huntington, Indiana, one person is dead, an officer is injured after a police-involved shooting in Huntington early Sunday morning. Twelve hours ago, the News Journal, Milford officer shot at Rehoboth Beach area motel suspect killed. State Justice Department says Milford police officer was injured Thursday night after being shot in the parking lot of a motel near Rehoboth Beach. Police confirmed three days ago. WSOC Charlotte, this has got to stop. Community saddened, angered after Mount Holly police officer killed in line of duty. Gaston County, North Carolina, detectives with the State Bureau of Investigation are investigating after Mount Holly. Mount Holly police officer was killed. Milwaukee Journal, that was one day, it was, it's a repeat, but the uh, Watosa police officer shot a woman after she advanced on officer with a wooden post. Not even a big knife, just a wooden post. Police say a 35-year-old woman is still in the hospital after she was shot by a W-A-U-W-A-T-O-S-A, Watosa. So Milwaukee Journey, uh, Journal Sentinel, Wa Watosa police officer shot a 35-year-old woman because she had a baseball bat or something two days ago. WCNC, again, with the Mount Holly officer. Man dead, Huntington police officer shot during pursuit involved a backhoe, ISP says. Indianapolis Star, an exchange of gunfire happened during the pursuit, which resulted in the death of a man and the injury of a police officer in Huntington. So, and then the Wild Waltosa police officer, again, shoots the woman. So, let's, you know, just onwards and forwards. Let's go to page three, and I'm not going to do... It looks like they're, you know, repeating two days ago, Albuquerque police involved in hundreds of officer-involved crashes. So that's interesting. They uh, have been involved in more than 500 car crashes since January 2019. So the Albuquerque police are just reckoning that everybody, that is a two-ton bullet. You know, there's, I'm pretty sure there's traffic laws in Albuquerque, too. I know Bugs Bunny always got lost in Albuquerque, but uh, dumb fries man dead after police shooting WTOP, a 79-year-old man is dead after a police involved shooting Thursday evening in Prince William County, Virginia. Police said a woman had a dot, 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 dot two days ago. State police investigate officer involved shooting. <sighs> A voye yellows today. Preliminary investigation. Woodworth Police Officer 2008 Pontiac Grand Prix speeding on Robinson Road 25 minutes ago. WCVB Boston Federal Judge denies dismissal of police involved shooting lawsuit. Family of a man killed in the shooting involved police back in February is moving forward. The lawsuit against the city of Boston. The move is one injured in police involved shooting in northern Kentucky. State police on Monday were still investigating at 23 Rabidou Road in Schuyler Falls after Sunday's officer-involved shooting. Six days ago, WCAX man shot, killed by Lamarck police officer. I believe that's been mentioned. Waterbury officer shot in chest during stolen motor vehicle investigation for suspects in custody. WTNH five days ago, a Waterbury police officer is recovering after being shot by another officer during the pursuit of a suspect Tuesday afternoon. Friendly fire shit. Shooting death of a police officer. Four men face federal charges in Philadelphia. Sergeant James O'Connor's fatal death. The police said he fired the fatal gunshots in April. Charges include murder, seven counts of attempted murder of a law enforcement officer. Three days ago, WPVI-TV, CBS Denver, Weld County, judge calls Fort Lupton officer Zach Helbig, damaged goods police officer, CBS 4A, Weld County judge has offered a damaging assessment of Fort Lupton police officer Zachary Helbig, agreeing with the local dot, 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 that's one day ago, Pacifica Tribune, Grand jury indicts San Francisco police officer in 2019 shooting. The indictment against Flores became the second case against a San Francisco police officer. 
uh, involved in a shooting just two weeks ago, six days ago, Pacifica Tribune. This well County, it's interesting. Damaged goods. Now that cop, he's damaged goods. He's a damaged goods cop. Damaged goods, police officers. Well County is too dangerous to other people in the community. Damn, that's a Weld County judge. He's just too goddamn dangerous. Yeah, he got the fucking little spike, was he? About 19 years old, got himself a gun. Now he's just too damn dangerous. Poses a danger to public safety. He's a damaged goods police officer because his reputation precedes him. He's got all them tattoos. What? I'm just a nice guy. What do you mean? I would never do nothing to nobody. So Zachary Helbig, what is the judge, you know, not happy with Zachary Helbig. Ruling from District Court Judge Shannon Lyons of the 9th Judicial District came after Weld County District Attorney Michael Rourke said he would no longer accept to prosecute cases involving Helbig as a witness due to his belief that Helbig poses a danger to the community. Well, Kenny D.A. Michael Rourke is like, you know what, this fucking hell big, this, uh, you know, I don't know if you know about Zachary Helbig, but that motherfucker is, he's basically going around beating up motherfuckers just for the fuck of it, just for the goddamn hell of it. Earlier this year, Weld County jury acquitted Zachary Helbig on a felony manslaughter charge. January 16, 2019, fatal, fatal shooting of Sean Billinger, who was unarmed when Zachary Helbig fatally shot Sean Billinger in the chest as Sean Billinger advanced on the officer. District Attorney Michael Rourke had taken the case to a grand jury, which indicted Helbig on the manslaughter charge, but the DA maintained after the acquittal that Billinger's shooting was not justifying, saying it was a bad shoot. It was not justified. It was a bad shoot. After the acquittal, Zachary Helbig went through a psychological evaluation, went through retraining, and the Fort Lupton Police Department put him back on the street so he could shoot some more people. However, this past August, Zachary Helbig was involved in another incident that caught Rourke's attention. He was involved in the arrest of two suspects in a menacing case. Other officers were ordering the suspects to the ground, but... Zachary Helbig began giving contradictory orders to the suspects to show their hands, saying, if they didn't, I'm going to fucking shoot you. This is Denver.CBSLocal.com. After that, Rourke wrote a letter to the Fort Lupton police chief, saying he would no longer prosecute cases involving Zachary Helbig, saying, I simply in good conscience cannot file charges in which Zachary Helbig is an essential witness. His decision-making processes are dangerous to the people in my community. Rourke has refused to accept several cases involving Zachary Helbig as a witness. Fort Lupton police challenged Rourke's position, asking a judge to force the district attorney to prosecute cases involving Zachary Helbig in a 17-page written something, something. Uh, he doesn't have a basic awareness of police protocols. He deviates from his assigned role critical moments. He's anxious to use threats or violence may not have internalized any meaningful lessons from his indictment trial remedial training. DA reached a conclusion officer Zachary Helbig is too dangerous. Court finds conclusion to be reasonable, warranted, based on the arguments made at the hearing. Uh, yeah, so this fucking Helbig, huh? I guess uh, Zachary Helbig is just going to be transferred to another department where I'm sure he'll have a, a job. I'm sure the goddamn union's going to cover it. That's the only time, you know, the only union in America that actually fucking works is the union for the fascist boot fucking thugs. Nah, thin blue line. Fuck the thin blue line. You're not a good person if you believe in a thin blue line. Thin blue line just means if you got a badge on, whether you er earned it, whether you're a good person, whether you're just fucking impersonating it, it doesn't fucking matter. You got to, you know, you're wearing blue. If you got a badge and you're wearing a blue kind of uniform, doesn't matter what the fuck you do. You're all on the same side, but, you know, that's uh, fucked up because just because you wear a uniform, I'd be a good cop. I would be such a good cop. So, yeah, wow, 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 wow. I wonder what this is all about, huh? Anyways, peace.